although suffering a heavy 5-0 defeat to host Nation Honduras in their Group PH game at the CONCACAF Under-20 Championship on Monday night, the young reggae boys are still in with a chance of qualifying for the round of 16 at the tournament, Jeremy Brown reports. Both teams entered the contest knowing victory would see them secure a spot in the round of 16 at the tournament. But it was never going to be easy, especially in the wet and muddy conditions at the Estadio Francisco Morazon Stadium. It was the Jamaicans who had the first attack on goal as Jamari Clark just failed to latch on to this cross from Kobe Thomas. But the Hondurans would counter quickly a theme throughout the contest as Marco Acetuno gave them the lead in the third minute. And with the Jamaican defense yet to find their footing, Acetuno returned in the 35th to add another to make it 2-0. And things would get worse for the young Jamaicans when defender Lamont Rochester was red-carded in first half added time. The VAR system sending him for an early shower. The Hondurans picked up where they left off upon the resumption when Isaac Castillo made it 3-0 after more sloppy defending from the young Jamaicans. A really tough angle. He hit the outside of the post. The Jamaicans were now at sea in the Mudfest. It was then time for a substitute, Jeffrey Macias, with his shirt still not yet mudded, to get in on the act as he made it 4-0 in the 58th. And despite the Caribbean team having more possession, Macias would get his second and the Hondurans fifth with this neat piece of footwork in the 85th. The Jamaicans had their chances on goal late in the contest, but it was not to be their night as the Hondurans recorded their second straight win to secure their spot in the round of 16. But although losing heavily, Jamaica only need to avoid defeat against Antigua and Barbuda in their final group game on Wednesday to secure third place and also advance. Midfielder Jamon Barkley knows they have to quickly regroup for that encounter. You know, it's a game of football. It's unpredictable. Um, today just wasn't already. We have to come again for the game against Antigua. That's it. The Antiguans lost 3-0 to Costa Rica in the group's other match on Monday to suffer their second defeat of the tournament. Jeremy Brown reporting for TVJ Sports. Jeremy, meanwhile, Jamaica's 5-0 defeat to Honduras in uh, that CONCACAF Under-20 Championship match on Monday night has left everyone in the camp disappointed, according to coach Marcel Gill. Basically, you know, we are all disappointed. You know, the kids are disappointed, but they are young men. You know, they will get over it. Um, you know, we never expect to lose, but we never expect to lose this way. But we we'll come again. We take art from the game. We know that we're still in it. We know that we encourage the guys and, and come again. So we can look forward to greater things um, in the next game. However, Gail says the mission is not over and they must now rise to the occasion in their final group game against Antigua and Barbuda on Wednesday, where anything but defeat will see them advancing to the round of 16. We know what, what is expected of us. You know, we just want to go there and express ourselves again. Um, we know that it's a must-win must situation. And, you know, we are, we are all going to blaze in the court there. I present again. I present um, well for the, for the nation. 